Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna match what? Uh, an invention? To the who? The, well, either uh, Mexico or Canada. Who came up with stuff? Let's learn together. But first, let's tell a 10 word story. Harold! S cut. His. Wiener. On. <laughs> uh, paper. But it's all right. Bleeding. <laughs> that's, that's, Carol cut his wiener on paper, but it's all right bleeding. <laughs> it's all right bleeding. <laughs> Did you not know you were the last word? Uh, I did, that's why I said bleeding. Okay, got it. But it's all right, <laughs> bleeding. It's not, I, I think this it, isn't bleeding that's gonna no, cause a problem. No, 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 it's slash. All right, slash, bleeding. <laughs> you have a choice to make. It's like. Oh, it's choose your own adventure. Yeah, it's choose your own adventure. So, okay, let, just so you understand Ten your choices. Story. Harold cut his wiener on paper, and it's either all right or it's bleeding. <laughs> and you. <laughs> you, you make the choice. What's the weirdest thing? Because if it's bleeding, it's not all right. What's the weirdest thing you ever cut your wiener on? Uh, mm. I don't think I've ever cut my wiener. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember when I've cut my wiener. When? I'm sure I have. <laughs> when I've cut my wiener. Um, I, can, I can safely say I haven't. I think I've made it 43 years without cutting my wiener. I mean, you well, know. Well, actually, one of the first things that happened to me was I got my wiener cut. There but, you go, but, there you go. But, but I, th that wasn't me. So you're circumcised. I'm a circumcised man. Yeah, yeah. If I had to go back, I don't know if I would circ circumcise oh, I my kids. Oh, I wouldn't do it, no. Let's not get into this. <laughs> I mean, to each his own. I was gonna say. No judgment. No one judgment. time I cut my butt by getting the, you know how on the top of the, <clears throat> how do you describe this? <laughs> Racks that you can put in showers that go over the shower head, that like hang oh, from the shower yeah, head. Yeah, the best. I had a razor and I was going to shave my legs and somehow the razor fell and cut my butt <laughs> on the way down. What kind of razor do you have? Like a straight straight razor? <laughs> no. Like a normal razor? Well, if yeah. It, I mean, if that part of it goes exactly. against your butt, then it's, it might give it a little, and if it goes Oh, sideways, the whole thing fell. Yeah. Oh, God. The whole I thought just the razor fell. fell like, and Dink. sliced. Um, well, I'm sorry about yeah, that, Steve. Are you okay? Yeah, luckily my wiener is fine. <laughs> I never, I don't think I've, I mean, I put on my pants really fast sometimes, yeah, right. and I like have this fear that it's gonna like mm -hmm. abraze my wiener. Yeah, right, yeah. But it's not, it's Especially never Especially when you really put happened. on your paper pants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a, a paper cut on a wiener, that's that's bad news. First of all, what are you doing if you get a paper cut on your wiener? Like, are you, like reading, reading, first of all, who reads the paper? Reading the paper naked? Like, on, the, on the toilet. People who have cut their wieners Paper, paper, cut, cut, your paper cut their wieners. What, what are they doing? They were like, reading the paper. Fell asleep while reading naked. You have to be naked in every scenario. And there has to be like a like a really emphatic motion yeah. with the paper. It's like I think what you're doing is you're reading the paper uh, on the toilet, mm -hmm. and um, then you decide to put the paper down to wipe to wipe or yeah, something. Right. And then at that point, <laughs> well, the edge of a paper like a newspaper is t difficult to cut, but like, what, they if you're load, what if you're loading the printer naked? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get more than loading the printer. Ah, naked printing. <laughs> you know what it was? I know what it was. Somebody, you know how those people do this thing where they'll, like, back in the 90s, it was a thing to, like, Xerox your butt yes. at the office. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so you got you got your pants down. Of course, you're doing this after hours. So you Xerox your butt, and then you're like, "Oh shoot, there's no paper." And you leave your pants down. You reach to grab the paper, and it some slips. Someone has caught their wiener doing this exact thing that we're talking about. Oh, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That was it. We figured it out. That's how you cut That's your wiener. That's it. All right. Paper cut your wiener. See you tomorrow. We have a game to play. All right. Give us an invention. I'm I'm gonna give you a scenario. You're gonna tell me if this person cut their wiener or not. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So is this person circumcised or not? Okay, all right, is that what we're doing? No, 
I'm gonna give you. Now, hey, listen, hey, write that down though. That's a good more. Definitely not a main episode, but is this person? We just look at their face and guess if they're circumcised. <laughs> Did or this not. person cut their wiener? Game. Um, I'm gonna give you an invention. You're gonna tell me if it was invented in Canada or Mexico. The Wonder Bra. Uh, what's the Wonder Bra? Which one is that? It's the one that pushes them together and up. Oh really? Yeah. Pushes them together. Do you feel confident in that? I don't know. I can't confirm. That that's the Wonder the case. Bra? Yeah. Yeah. Pushes okay. them up and together. Uh, uh, I'm saying Mexico because uh, I, w I watch the, uh, the the Mexican soap operas and they, there's always an emphasis on cleavage. Yeah. Well, and I will say that uh, you don't have to understand the language. I've occasionally like. Um, Occasionally, I will uh, turn it to Telemundo or Univision and watch the weather. Yeah, all are, all around. They're not afraid of boobaloobaloobies in Mexico. Canada, you gotta wrap those puppies up. Yeah, you can't let them out, they'll freeze off. It was invented in Canada. What? By Louise Poirier. Oh, a Frenchman, yeah, yeah okay, got who it. In 1963, was working for a Montreal-based lingerie company. Yeah, it was the French influence on Canada. That's where the boobies came from. The egg carton. The egg carton. Mexico. I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, so transporting eggs in a safe manner. Um, I think. I don't have any rationale for this. I don't want to turn anybody in Mexico or Canada against me by just just mouth vomiting nonsense like I normally do. I feel like I'm in a precarious situation. I don't have anything. I to love go on. Mexico. I love Canada. I love the Mexican people. I love the Canadian people. But we're both going with Mexico for no good reason. Yeah, Canada. What? This is actually later than I would have thought. 1911, newspaper editor Joseph Coyle of Smithers, British Columbia, invented the egg carton to solve a dispute between a local farmer and a hotel owner over the farmer's eggs often being delivered broken. Hmm. I wonder what they did before the carton. Probably hay in a, in a, in a basket. Hay in a basket. That's or you just a, that's stood not as good. right under the I chicken. They, I, and... think they, I think they transported them in, in, uh, in uh, removed foreskins. Well, you know what I think they did? I think You didn't even listen to my answer. I, I You're think, waiting for me to stop talking about foreskins so you could tell no, your answer. I think they put the, the, the Wonder Bra that the Frenchman invented, they would just put it right there. One, One egg, egg per lady. Yeah. <laughs> I need a dozen ladies to bring me a dozen eggs. That's, I mean, that would be, that's some misogynistic stuff right there. If you, if you need 12 ladies to bring you 12 eggs, I just made a misogynistic joke. You should right just now. go on, right on back to the 17th century. I'm not misogynist, but boy, that joke I just made was. <laughs> that's what's funny, is that I would never say something misogynist, but because that's, I did, that's what made it, it funny. Was, it wasn't even a joke, it was just conjecture. That's some, that's some misogynistic stuff, man. Scorpion, anti-venom. Mexico! Freaking Mexico, they got scorpions How down there. How could it be Canada? They don't have scorpions in Canada. Yeah, but they have the anti-venin researchers in Canada. This can't be right, but I'm going with it because, hold on, the last two, it has to be Mexico. It's Mexico. But I'm gonna go with Canada. Have you guys encountered a scorpion in real? Yes, Canada? yes, in Death Valley. Not in the most oh, okay, recent okay, but not like. In, in or not, around not in, uh, No. No, not in California. Well, I was in California with it. Not in around my house, no. <laughs> you? Yeah, one. And in Texas, there's, I mean, obviously there's scorpions. You know what borders anyway. Texas? Also, Mexico. California. Mexico. Yeah, it's Mexico. Ha! Anna's Corp? The first scorpion anti-venom to be approved by the FDA was developed in Mexico. Mm, good for I wonder everyone. how often Also, that's scorpions used. love to hide in dark places, but you can check your home for scorpions using a black light. They'll glow a light blue-green color under the ultraviolet light. Kind of freaky, yeah. I bet you somebody's gotten bitten on the wiener with, by a scorpion. And what do you think they were doing? That's probably happened way more than paper cuts on wieners. Yeah, which, which, which happens more? Scorpion bites on penises, I would think happen. I'd say there's 12 a year. 
Like, I'm not kidding. There's that many. Scorpions, man. Yeah. A 33-year-old man suffered a severe sting on his penis from a scorpion of the species. Bite his penis. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was, I was like, okay. Tishius turvatus, which is translated loosely as bite his penis. <laughs> bite his penis. Uh, the, penis. Penis wound, wound by scorpion sting. Oh, see, there's a PubMed article about it. I'm telling you, this happens all the time. But I bet you, paper cut. Do penis paper cut. See if there's a PubMed about that. Yeah, I'm interested now. We we like using the <laughs> mythical search engine, the mythical computer to do our oh. our weird searches. Come on. David wouldn't do it. Penis paper cut. Oh, oh, Reddit first thing, yeah, yeah, uh. yeah, 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 yeah. How do, first, the first entry is, how do I stop thinking about getting a paper cut on my penis? Because <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that we introduced this scenario into your world. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to put a trigger warning at the top of this more. Specifically for that man. Uh, okay. Do I'm, not watch this video. Yeah. I'm reading so many things that I don't it. want to say out loud. Mm -hmm. Instant replays. <clears throat> Instant replays? Wow. Okay. I'm sticking with Mexico is on this. this. A, is this a football thing or a hockey thing? I believe. Oh, you know what? There's really good arguments for both because in hockey, there are no you can't, there are no instant replays in hockey. Not true. In hockey, you can't see the puck there unless you watched hockey a whole lot. So they need to show it to the normies again. And in soccer, no one ever scores. So if it happens, you want to see it a bunch. Mm. So there's really good reasons for both oh, of these. Wow. Uh, I'm going with Mexico though. I basically have guessed Mexico for everything. And it's and I'm in a and I thought I was in the I league. think this is a, ho losing? a hockey situation. I got one of those right. It's Canada. Yes. Mm. 1955 CBC producer George Retzlaff introduced the world to the first in-game sports. George Retzlaff. Retzlaff. Good old George. I mean, it seems Hockey. like it now. It my seems like such an obvious <laughs> idea. You're watching sports. I want to see that again. Well, you can't. You got to watch closely. Yeah. Hey, only a few days left if you want to get the mythical Snackiverse lunchbox and Thermos collectible set. This unique collectible is only available to Mythical Society third degree members. You gotta join the third degree quarterly or annual plan by the end of this month. Mythicalsociety.com for details. You know a few years ago, they started putting a track, tracker thing on the hockey puck. Like, like I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. I don't know how many years ago it was. And it would be like there was a, a little stream on it, like it was a comet. So oh. people watching, like me, who don't understand hockey and can't follow the puck, could see it on TV. And the hockey people hated it. Because they were like, we can see the puck! We don't need this dude from North Carolina to be able to see it. Yeah. They lost me when they took it away. They lost me. I would have been a Hurricanes fan. But instead, I'm just a guy who can't see the puck. Everyone would come back from hockey games back when hockey made its way to North Carolina, and they would say, well, it's, it's a lot of fun. You yeah, would really like, be surprised. Have you been there in person? Like, have you gone to better, a game in it's person? It's different in person. Like it's so. And much, they all fight, and it's, it's real. It's everything is fight. so much better in person with hockey. I mean, you don't have to understand any of it. Yeah, it's just ice. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cold. And you have sticks. It's, it's you get bundled up. Yeah, you go in there. The pager. Oh, the, the pager. pager. Oh. Mexico. Now drugs are everywhere. <laughs> let me just let me just preface this. Oh, what about what's you about to say? Drugs are everywhere. I mean, you think about the. There's, I bet there's cartels in uh, Mexico, just like of, in Canada. I haven't heard of the Canadian cartels. Is there a, is there cartels in Canada? There's got to be. I mean, again, it might I be. said drugs the pager. Are <laughs> when I think pager, I think doctors and drugs. Uh huh. Yep, I'm oh, going with Mexico. I think dads. Dads, there's a lot of dads. Like in the Mexico. belt pepper. situation, and like... and when we when you think pepper, you think old men. Yeah, but I I really like pepper as I'm well. Old about... men and me is what I do. You think that pagers will make a comeback? Pagers, because I've been thinking I spend too much time on my phone. What if I just said, you know what? I'm only available by pager now. That would be <laughs> a huge power move. Uh, yeah. 
That's kind of like telling somebody, I paper cut my wiener. <laughs> it's like they're not. It's not going to change what anything anybody does. They're just going to well, feel sorry for you. No, you got I a pager. Oh, they feel sorry for you. No, they'll they, then they'll use. They'll say, well, okay, what's your pager number? I guess if it's like my wife. You know, <laughs> it's like she'll probably want to know my pager number. <laughs> I, I mean, be like, baby, I'm only available by pager. There was a time uh, you had a pager. I had two pagers. I was a double pager man. No, slinging from the hip with the two pagers because I was an engineer. I had, and I don't know why I had two. It didn't last long. You had two pagers. I had two pagers. It was like a couple of weeks. I think it was because I was getting a new pager. But I didn't want to get rid of my old page. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So when people would page me, I would have to call them back and give them my new pager, pager number. number. Yeah. Get, so I think at some point everyone has two pagers. If you have to switch, I, I think that's Why'd what we Why'd you have to switch? Learned. Did your pager number get out to the wrong people? <laughs> it was a new. It had a, a nicer screen. It was you a couldn't nicer transfer pager. the number. It was a nicer pager, man. Did you put both? Did you put pagers on your belt? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I had my shirt tucked in, and I had my belt, and I had, we had my our pagers. Shirt, we had to tuck our shirts in for work as engineers. It was like it wouldn't even cross our minds to walk in in there without our shirts. You don't want a in. shirt tail to get sucked into like a pipe in your case or a conveyor belt. In but our hey, case. but we wore jeans on Friday. I wore jeans every day because I, I was in a manufacturing environment. You got to wear jeans every day. I wore yeah. them on Friday so hard. Yeah. You know the thing I don't like about dress pants mm. is that the pleats. If you I don't mean to be talking about wieners. Ever so cut much. your wiener on a pleat? <laughs> if you if you if you iron it hard enough, if you if you have a little wiener, <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you have it, if you go to the bathroom and then you have a little dribble, like uh, you don't give it a good shake, dress pants. That's gonna come through on some dress pants. <laughs> wicked. That's not gonna come through uh, on some on some nice thick. Did jeans. you say wicked? <laughs> wicked, yeah. You get a wicked pee, pee spot coming through on those dress pants. Man, Especially if they're khaki. I organized my pants. You want some this, jeans if you're gonna not, you better shake, you better shake it, shake it, shake it if you wear This past weekend. And I, and there was a pair of khaki. Dress pants. There was a pair of khakis in there and I was like. In your, in your. I was like, what are these? <laughs> you know, I was like. Khakis. What, like when, when? You had khakis to in your what, closet? What occasion? Would I wear these? Yeah, khakis. What, what? But then I was like, maybe I should keep them. So I think I think khakis should die. No, I think they should come back with a pager. But, uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna eat my words one day. I'm gonna be wearing khakis. Oh yeah, you'll be wearing. I will be wearing khakis. It'll be ironic for some people, and I'll be. What the is old the question? Guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we even? Where were we, pants? No, invented? no, I didn't. I didn't ask another one. Pagers. Where were this pagers a, invented? Yeah. You, we already answered that one. Um, where were they this invented? This is the last one. Wait, hold on, where were pages invented? Oh, Canada. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh I, I didn't, didn't vote. Oh, okay. It was just marked as you got it wrong on my scoreboard, but I never told you you got it wrong. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean <laughs> okay, to. Okay, so we're tied that. going into the final question. It was um, 1949 by Alfred J. Gross. Is where khakis were invented? <laughs> no, the pager. Oh. I like the word Okay, khaki. this is the final one. I like look one. at the word khaki. Mm -hmm. Kahaki. Chewing gum. Chewing, Chewing gum. Mexico! I don't know if this is Canada. Mexico. Yes! Why? The Mayans extracted it from Rubber trees! trees. Used it. Yep. Yes! Yep. I think I knew that at one point. Mm. Man. Mm. I thought about a lot of things today. Mm. Only a few days left to get the Mythical Snackiverse lunchbox and thermos set. Join the third degree quarterly or annual plan by March 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.